Welcome! In this video I'm going to show you how you can obtain frequency densities using R and my StickPad R library. Now I'm using Jupyter Notebook but the R code should also work in for example R Studio. The version of R that I'm running is version 4.3. Frequency densities are simply the frequencies divided by a bin size and gives you an indication as the name implies of how dense a particular uh, category actually is. To show you how this works I can uh, use an example so I'll load in the general social survey 2012 adjusted for example purposes uh, data and let's just call that data frame. Um, I don't actually need all its data I just need a one a numeric field. Now there is an age uh, in available in this data frame However, that um, does have an 89 or older, so I actually need to replace um, uh, that with a value. So let's replace it with 89, uh, and then this should have only in numbers. Now, using my StickPad R library, you will first need that library. So after you've installed DevTools, you can use it to install from GitHub straight away. And then once it's installed, you can always load it just as any other library. The function of interest is the tab, uh, short for table, frequency uh, bin. So it will provide a frequency table of bin data, including the frequency density. Now, the input is, of course, the data. You can also, if you want, specify how many bins you want, either as a number or you can use a method from the tab number of bins function. The default is using the Sturgis method. You can also specify the bins yourself. Uh, you can indicate if you want the lower bound to be inclusive or the upper bound. Uh, so do you want it to go from this value up to, um, but excluding the upper bound, or do you want to uh, exclude the lower bound and include the upper bound? Uh, to make sure all values actually go into at least one bin, you need to adjust, uh, you need to add a little bit to um, one the upper ends of the bins. So there's a little float you can actually adjust um, uh, if you want yourself, if by accident the upper bound of one category is actually the same as the uh, maximum value in the data. Now a lot of talk, but the function itself is fairly straight, uh, uh, straightforward. Um, you just type in the name of the function, and if you don't set any parameters, it simply gives you, uh, b uh, besides the data, it gives you the lower bound of the bin, the upper bound, the frequency, so the counts, and the frequency density, which should be the frequency divided by this 24 minus 18 in this case. You can also use your own bin, so let's say I'm going to be using these bins and then I can say, well, I want you to use my bins and then it actually uses those. Alright, I hope this uh, video was helpful and thank you for watching. 